Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Or wait, no. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> welcome back to Detroit. That's what I've been editing all day. Detroit Become Human on the brain here. Welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube later, for possibly more Tales from the Borderlands, but definitely other videos. If you're watching this on Twitch right now, please don't forget to follow the channel if you enjoy the stream. That way you'll be notified next time we go live. Let me just make sure everything's working here because it sounds a little strange to me. Okay. It appears like everything's working. Except for this. It's going to screw it up again there. Sorry about that. Alright. What? Why do you do that? It moved it again. Stop moving it. Stay right there. Okay? <laughs> it keeps moving the window over... My freaking Twitch dashboard here, and I can't see what's going on. How about now? Okay. No. <laughs> yeah? No, it moved it back up. What the crap, man? There we go. We'll just do that. All right. <clears throat> so last time we left off on Chapter 4, or actually the end of Chapter 3... We're about to start chapter four, or episode four, and then we have episode five, and then that's the end of the game as far as I know. So, the reason we haven't played this in a while is because Detroit Become Human came out, and I played uh, the crap out of that, and I'm still editing through the videos trying to get through. I think I got a couple left, so I can try to get those out as soon as possible, and then we'll resume with normally scheduled, I suppose, <clears throat> channel video stuff. So, here we go. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished top secret... Hey, Ryan's here. What's going on, man? The doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. And the dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eve. 
There, they found another piece of the Gorthys robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take revenge, I made a foul. the con artist intervened. <laughs> that was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. <laughs> oh, it's going pretty good. I got the day off because there's no race this weekend. So the shop is closed today as far as I know. And I'm just editing some stuff and thought I would try to finish this off. We only got a couple of episodes left. And my Amazon Prime trial is over Wednesday. So I don't know if they're going to take the game away. Looks like we're in for some shower. When oh, I cancel that, awesome. so I'm trying to yeah, finish it off here. Let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. We could jump him. Hey, you, what? There's two of us. Even you should like those odds. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're not the one who keeps beating up. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One. <laughs> Three, go! <laughs> That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh jeez! I'm not paying attention. No, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was paying attention, but I wasn't ready to react to anything. That was close. It was, wasn't it? Oh. What's that? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <gasps> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas. Hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now... Tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? 
I, I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordis. You're, you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under normal <clears throat> circumstances, <clears throat> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. Yeah, okay, we'll... We'll get you the piece. Oh, come on. Well, that's just <laughs> lovely. And here I thought I was going to have to stab someone. I should cooperate with her and then get out later, Sorry. I think. Yeah. Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this okay, isn't the first time okay, we've had to get creative. On. We'll, Look, we'll I know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you'd stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll story. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong, sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on I could use your help. Yeah, so of course you fault? could. I'm not the one Is that a yes to or no? What, you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy like hanging? Great, really I helpful. I honestly don't reality. know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. So the listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but if there's one thing that you know about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys bought, yeah, borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you <laughs> shoot them. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. I know where the beacon is. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh... Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey. Put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? Yeah, I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. <laughs> 
That whole sector must be crawling with guards. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to one shit you. <laughs> why you think we could possibly break in? Man, how many people you got to kill to get an office like that? I get that you're scared. Okay, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship. Obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! Oh! No! Oh, I, I looked away! <laughs> and then it's off to Helios. Damn it! Up! Come on! The keys are in. The Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. <laughs> Got that one. <laughs> so long in between the them system. that I just kind of relax and then. Oh, jeez. And then I have to do something real quick, and I'm not ready. Yeah, it'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Oh, don't break it! Told you. <laughs> okay. Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. <clears throat> Ugh. And for the <laughs> grand finale, oh, did you struck the vast skies? Vast skies, Reese was Jack's inside. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell them, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, you were acting pretty strange after we got out of the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission... We need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Here's why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! And August, that's why. Together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. We're the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, what? Don't no. look at me! I'll kill you. G go team! <laughs> Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. Okay. Hey there, Scooter. I love his sign. It's got August. a fat chick. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you. Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this. Thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! 
Gordis is awesome. Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. No. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Oh, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the race? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. <laughs> but anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's just, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, would one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can I can shut? Mine. We're gonna fly up to Helios and leave a big flaming pile of skag crap right on their doorstep. Oh, heck yeah! What do you want to get the crap? Do you want to, like, just find some? Or do you want to, like, make some? Or do you want to get it off the black market? Because I know this wholesaler, trust me, I'll... We're not actually gonna do that. It's a metaphor. Yeah! That word! That all sounds great! Only problem is funding? No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordis piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Janie Springs, Athena's girlfriend. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know. Maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. <clears throat> Set her mind at ease if you can. <clears throat> That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. Uh oh. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know mm. she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and her entire gang just to take her down. Hey, <laughs> that's my girl. Ha ha ha, this is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do, come on! You just gotta- I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she- say anything about me before they took her 
The way she acted. Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, you are gonna have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm gonna grab every gun I can carry, I'm gonna drive out of here, I'm gonna rescue my girlfriend, and I'm gonna marry the piss out of her. <laughs> I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't happen to her face. Oh man, that's a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just just wow. Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, well, space buddies! Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our pants. Oh, you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. And you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get a uh, little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah, let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy. <laughs> yeah, I love dumpy. That? <laughs> uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Oh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Okay. Oh, there's some skags. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you better run. Okay. Can I eyeball any of this stuff? Oh. Uh, got, got an antenna thingy, so it's probably sending signals. Maybe something to do with TV. Oh man, you know what I just realized? I probably died before I found out what the dude's mom was in the thing. Let me look it up. Connecting. That was stupid. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Thought it was going to be something more funny. I wonder if that body still got juice. Want to play your robo hand in and see? Plug. All right, no. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, we stuck? What's going on? You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. What? Time to show your face back on Helios. Oh! Face is face! Has no face! <laughs> oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. We gotta find his face. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what? Not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. <laughs> his face. Huh? Has no face. <laughs> if you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you oh. someday. The SS Jack's Apprentice. Cool, right? You can help me climb the ranks of Hyperion. Climb? That's poor person talk, Reesey. 
Think rocket-powered yacht to the frickin' moon. Huh? You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Whoa. Oh, there it is. Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I going to find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an Echo <laughs> Eye is for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Oof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock wait. this walk. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not done. Well, this place is scaring me, and I'm a freaking hologram. Scanning. Scanning. Uh, careful now. I want to end up Ooh, psycho Vasquez dinner. wasn't that ugly. Great, now I'm hungry, but I don't have a stomach. See, you... You have a stomach, and you're not hungry, but I still want to force steak into your mouth until your abdomen bursts. I feel like one of those guys who pays women to crush apples with their feet. I mean, I've heard that's a thing that people pay for. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't know why my mouse pointer is in the middle of the screen, because it's over here. Uh-uh. Uh Pattern? <laughs> Flawless! Not now. Interrupt, Rem Psycho! Dumpy, attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Dumpy! Spot metal puck. Thanks, Dumpy. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, little baby <laughs> butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's, that's classy. Did I run into that guy? Because I didn't think I was that close to him. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever... <laughs> kind of looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Hmm, okay. Keep going. Hmm, the Vasquez's face. So hairy. So, so hairy. And yet also so slimy. Like somebody slam dunked a terrier into a tub of nacho grease. I'd I'd swipe left. Is what I'm saying. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Peel, look at. Get me back to here. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket. I don't know. I can't mess up his face or the digistruct won't work. Oh, I did bump his leg. I didn't even see till it was too late. Just rip it off like a bandage. Ugh. Painful. Oh. Mm. Okay. Press Just S. Peel it off. Peeling off the face. Uh. Not going to barf into his mouth. <laughs> With your mouth. <sighs> That's it. Go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so... That, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it oh, off. Please. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, <laughs> don't rip it! Oh, oh. smash the baby's face! Uh oh, its teeth! <laughs> Run! 
on! You're the only one running, pal. I can fly! <laughs> so once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... Which could... So, one. One. Yeah. Psycho. <laughs> With chest bomb. <laughs> Boom. You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh. Yeah. There. <laughs> oh. Whoa, wait, dude! <laughs> Uh. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Oh, Think come I got on. Some baggies in the truck. Okay. <laughs> it ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona should fit in on Helios, but you, Sasha? No way, man. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. We got two thousand dollars now. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Oh, geez. Um. Right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kind of want you to spend all of August's money. Hey, Steampunk Princess, Just turn her back around. I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. Onyx Overlord Standard issue uniform uh, I kind of like that one But I'm kind of thinking that might be the way to go. I don't know. Does it matter? Okay, Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Let's just do that one. All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. <laughs> Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Click X to exit when finished. Oh, I'm finished. That's all I need, right? Um. Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. Hey! Hurry it up already! I don't got all day! <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Because <laughs> it's funny. I don't know, kind of popped in the old head.
I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. Who'd have thought? We haven't even gone that far, and it all feels a million miles away. It puts things in perspective. Everything that we've gone through, it all seems so small from up here. Yeah, it does. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... We get the beacon and we hold it ransom. It's the only piece of leverage we've got with Valerie. I suppose you're right. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got away from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. <laughs> of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Hello! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! We won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning. Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a person? Uh oh. Oh, that's the guy that. Someone else that is feeling well. Vasquez flushed out the airlock at the beginning. He was the. the boss guy. Henderson? Henderson? Oh no. Oh no! Impact detected on center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know? So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it. We could really use your advice here. This ship requires additional thrust. Okay. Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Oh no. Which is bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, cause that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to eleven. Uh, bam. I want to say about bull drugs. It's like a, a jump log jam in my brain. There are things coming off the thing. That's normal. <laughs> this is normal? <laughs> that happens. Yeah, we're running like real hot right now. Yeah, like crazy hot. But we got to do it. This is our only shot. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity. When we do, you got to shut these puppies down. You hear? Yeah, yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? Achieving escape velocity in five, four, three, two, one, go! Uh. <laughs> so then, why are the alarms still going? Now nah, that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Oh. Huh? Yeah. What? Huh? No. Huh. Nothing. Oh. I 
don't you worry your pretty little yeah, all of it, yeah, but yourself, but I'll be walking you through it though. <laughs> don't you worry your pretty little all of you. That's funny. Those things don't look like they're sealed on her head. Hey, hey what's up? Why don't you guys help us from out here? Well, that's the idea. Stay safe. All right, you go that way towards the rocket, and I'll take care of the other one. Listen, we ain't got much time. Be careful, Fee. Okay. That's right. Easy does it. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <sighs> Don't let go. That's right, easy does it. I see your butt. <laughs> yeah? You gotta stick your hand in there. Oh, jeez. Uh, dangerous looking one? Yeah, that's it. Now there's a yellow button in there that you gotta push. That's step one. Right. The button wedged all the way in the back. Oh, you got it? Alright. No! What? <laughs> when you press it, you gotta pull your arm out real quick because it's gonna clamp down something fierce. You got me? Be careful. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. It's stable, Fiona. All right. Now pull the last to detach that sucker while we still can. Very be ready to get back to the ship. Okay. <laughs> His hand stuck in there. Good job, man. <laughs> Can't do step two without step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Guys, that rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. <laughs> no compensating on this one. No. No, I, I can pull you out. Listen, there ain't nothing you can do that I ain't already tried, okay? Oh, Scooter. Uh, what's going on out there? Nothing. Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey. Hey. You gotta go over there, pull that latch, and cut this rocket loose. There's no time for anything else, you understand? You gotta do it or else the whole ship's gonna go. No, stop, okay? There's gotta be some other way out of this. No, there ain't. Even if there was, there's no time. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now, don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about an old scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys. Trade hats? Um... Alright. You gotta go.
Oh, jeez. I'm not going on. I gotta catch a ride. Bye, scooter. All right, y'all. It's probably the end, but you see Moxie or Ellie, you tell them I did some awesome shit, okay? It's been real. Yeah, I was thinking about cutting his arm off or cutting his hand off, but we don't have anything to cut it with, so I suppose... That's the, we don't have time for anything else. Woo! <laughs> Guess we just didn't have time. Oh. That was the first casualty of the mission. I wish I would have let his advertisement satellite go now. So, there it is. What did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. someone you care about the worst part is scooter was the best of us he deserves so much better he was definitely one of the nicest people i met on pandora although that's not probably saying much anyway we didn't have much time to mourn and all that things started to get crazy the minute we landed on helios So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. <laughs> I repeat, identify <laughs> yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. We will fire. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chilling in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? Uh-oh. <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. I thought they weren't going to let us in. So we're flying that thing now? Why couldn't we just take that in the first place? Or is that our car? Did he change it into a rocket or is it a different After thing? Before I get inside and disable security, I'll call you when it's safe to come out. I don't know. M Time maybe it's something different. Game face. do my job. <laughs> I really hope I get an excuse to kill you. 
Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. <laughs> Hi. And what's that thing you jettisoned, say? Hero something? Yep. Look like a doll satellite. You know what we do to doll crap up here. The same thing we're gonna do to your face when we find out what you are up to on Pandora. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Huh. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... What am I way? Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Matt, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Because you lost a critical Hyperion asset. This is on you. You're not even a little sad? I thought you were close. That's none of your business. You and I had a deal. But he was your friend. If you think you can distract me, think again. She had a deal you with Vasquez the whole time? And, well, you blew it. She was supposed to be Reese and Vaughn's friend. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. How many baggies would you like? Excuse me? Well, it's just that my colleagues tend to die badly. Henderson, Reese, I could go on. And if things were to go south, I'd like to know your preference. One big bag or a bunch of little ones? Maybe with the cute zip ties? They make them in a million colors. Never start what you can't finish. Hmm, so it's a good thing we didn't get a hold of her. We're standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're linked. Now for the password. <laughs> all right, all right. You want to dance? Let's dance. Oh, what are we doing? Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace. That what, what? cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. It's a child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Jack, hack, jack, coming at you, baby. 
any freaking rules. And that is not the royal way this time. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you. Uh, are we looking for Jack's office? Um. Aha. Uh -huh. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the... The hub of heroism? Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Oh. Pickpocket. Nice. Whoa, that was like, what, six, six hundred, seven hundred something? Go. There you go. Howdy. I know who, right? Some lady's trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh, what are you wearing? <laughs> All right, moving along. You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to death. Looks like an ugly contest. <laughs> the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. <laughs> Set my gun does the talking. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. It's like they worship. Man, I'm going to have to see how much the Borderland games cost, and I'm going to have to get them. I must have played it on, like, a free demo, or I don't even know. I know I bought... I don't know. It might have been on PlayStation 3. It was so long ago. Reese, we need an assist. All right, checking the schedule. Checking the schedule. All right. But I know I started playing one of them. We're on it. Nope, not a tour guide. Is that her? No, that's a him. Oh, right there. All right, there's a tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, 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 what about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am. Private Gordas is on the job. It's like a kid. <laughs> Can you believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? Yeah, that's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. <laughs> a woman after my own heart. Uh, I've been thinking. 
if Hyperion served real food, not that Bree hyper hydrated crap. Oh, get it. Isn't it multiplayer too? Uh, first Borderlands? Because I remember playing it with Laura, I thought. Oh no! How did that happen? Oh, Wait. Oh, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You. Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? The tour guide lady. She's the head of all Helios tours, and you're superior. So show some respect, robot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. time out, time out. You just watched Gordas get berated by Sasha, and you didn't grab the badge, and the whole plan failed. What? 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 I just looked up the store page because I knew you would ask. <laughs> um, hold on, I want to look real quick while well, we got game over here. What happened? I thought I grabbed the badge. Um, and then I saw it flying away, and then I missed something. I don't know if I looked over at Chad or something. Let me see. I remember playing it with Laura, and I remember it being a lot of fun. And then we never played it again. 20 bucks? Isn't this, like, super kind of old? How old am I? 1932? Um, 2009? It's nine years old. I'm supposed to grab the badge off him while she was yelling at him. Oh, I thought, I thought that she grabbed it and that we had it. Anyway, we'll try it again. Single player, multiplayer, co-op. So I'm guessing it's like online co-op, not just, uh, because we played it together. We played it on the PlayStation, so we played it on the same TV. Huh. I'm going to have to put these on my wish list. Um, Borderlands 2. Wish list. The pre sequel? 2014, that's only four years old. I don't know, we'll put that in there too. So, I need to play these now to, to kind of catch up on what is happening here because I don't know really exactly what's going on. All right, let's get back here. With Handsome Jack and everything like that. So how far back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Oh, it didn't come off. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is human strength? Uranium milk, perhaps? Ooh. Oh, my outfit's ruined. Uh, snap. Okay, she grabbed it. I saw that. Oh, no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You. Do okay. you have any idea who this is? Uh, uh, nice uh. I just didn't see that it didn't come unclipped. He just pulled the string out. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! <laughs> oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Oh. Um, what? Yona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. 
They're handsome jack this? masks. Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. <laughs> Pretty, though. Pretty suspicious. Uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the handsome jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... Yeah? You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. <laughs> let's start right. the tour. VIPs. <laughs> well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts. Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Um. Ooh. Ah. Handsome Jack's father. Defeating. Um. What a badass. Cool. Like father, like son, I suppose. The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Because... Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This, my friends is no freaking way Jack's infamous horse made from real diamonds and uh wish uh. I had a horse like that wish I had diamonds like that if you feed it the stallion will crap high velocity weaponry <laughs> oh so this is butt stallion butt stallion Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kind of just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. It's just a chair, but what it represents is an idea. Jack started as a lowly programmer sitting in a chair just like this. And now he has a VIP tour dedicated to his greatness. Just imagine where your chairs might take you. Straight to the top, baby! Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. That was a test, people. And you failed. Wait, what? How does that work? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Metal detector. Uh... Uh, walk through the checkpoint. Okay. I'm going to need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, ho, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust oh. her. Oh, crap. <sighs> After all that rambling, she's finally quiet. I'm telling you, she's up to something. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. Oh, we never opened no it. metal objects. Next time, it's mine. Understood. That was... Sasha's present from Felix. Woo, woo. I don't think we ever <laughs> looked. There. Now for the main event. 
Even you can't ruin this for me. Come on, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe Bugs. I can just... Oh! Stop! Stop. Oh. oh, boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh... Gotta be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Sure. Go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown. Oh, no! Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we man. hope you enjoyed your tour. You're Goodbye. Your own lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Okay. Damn it. I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and, and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second, and uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. The vent's here. Crap. He said to hold tight. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't re- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. What am I doing? What are you doing? Everything in this office is mine now. Which technically means you're breaching security. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. You traitor. Oh, grow up. It's just an office. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't because believe you I'm thought Reese. I wouldn't find out. Well... You seriously underestimated me. You're right. Reese isn't dead. What? I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. <laughs> you are the Hey, how you doing? I'd, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. Yvette, we need to talk. Oh, yeah? What about? You got this, pal. Don't mess it up or we'll die. Security officers are busy eliminating other threats and will take your call in the order it was received. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? By tomorrow, you'll be sipping macchiatos with the rest of the galaxy's most morally flexible. That's not your style, Hugo. What are you playing at? Oh, it's probably because... I'm Reese. Uh-oh. Reese? Reese! Okay. And Jack, don't forget me! You can't just walk around telling people who you really are. I mean, they're not unless you want me to sap them. Although, I do really... Enjoy sapping people so much. I mean, it was worth it. Ooh, cold. I like it. 
So, yeah, anyway, stop doing that. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Security. Fiona, you there? Maurice, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have, oh, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. Who was that? That was weird. No more means everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the friggin' battery on Yvette. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation count. With a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. Jack, if you're not here to help, get lost. Don't tell me to get lost. You get lost. Uh, I, I can't think when you're talking. I'll, ca I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reef! As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. <laughs> and let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, uh, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, 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 just to make sure, this trap door is it a is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but am I gonna die? When I go through it, you know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. <laughs> a lot of people die down there. No, what should I agree to? <laughs> a brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're telling me I will be the first person to go through your trapdoor and live to tell about it? First and probably the last. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step though is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. The jackhole. You gotta go in the out hole while someone yanks on the lever. Tell me you've got a plan. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Kinda oh, no. busy right now. You gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. Alright, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. Hey! Hey! Mm, pony. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Putting this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life. <gasps> oh, what? Why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Stop looking. Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood. Why is there blood? We almost just filled the strawberry jam. Oh, okay, yeah, that's probably it. I told you, just get arrested and meet me at... Reese, you there? V Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to... With the... V v Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Vasquez?
Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. <laughs> Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. Can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Really? Is this happening right now? <laughs> what the hell? Oh! To lead. <laughs> Badass accountant, definitely a virgin. Chica. Chica. He's out of bullets. I've been counting. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So that's the thing that happened. <laughs> that's why I love this game. Like, did that need to be in it? Yes, it did. But I didn't know it. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, you. All right, you know, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see one. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? Nothing. I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I think she said... Release. Release? Yeah, like... Hey, release <laughs> Have tears in your eyes? That was amazing. Right. That was perfect. Except what she apparently said was, Oh, hi, Release. Things are going great. Yeah, that's a weird sentence, isn't it? <laughs> so what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. 
Interrogation. Oh yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trapdoor that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. Oh, that's no problem. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting mulched by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait, we gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! Woo! Glad I got these meaty ham hocks. Huh. Okay, so you gotta go in the out hole while someone pulls the lever. Okay, so you gotta hold it. Alright, I get it now. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me, just climb on up! Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh no, this is excruciatingly painful, but hey, I'm a team player! <laughs> Reese wouldn't let us down! Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, Sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese! Okay! Oh! Uh. <laughs> okay. How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die. Reese, you alright? Nope! Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Climb! Just climb! Oh, jeez. Something's gonna happen to her. She's gonna let go of the lever, or don't you stop there, man. Some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave it the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you. God, so dramatic about everything. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. Wow. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? That's well, gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Hey. 
Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary <laughs> method of communication. Butt slams? Gotta love it. The scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? You build this place yourself. That desk do you anything cool? That desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I know, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got away. So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, vent some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock and collection of valuables is. You build this office yourself? Ha! <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do manual labor. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's yeah, a spirit. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype. But it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great. But just not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh. Uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but... You and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. Sure, guy. All right, what else do we got here? Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> it's delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? That's gotta be something stupid. Like, oh, I'm so I don't know. Let's just try this. Yeah, yeah. I go deep. Yeah, <laughs> belong to the jackass Harold Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. <laughs> um. Oh, this, this shotgun, it's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> and then kill them. Then you kill them. <laughs> Negative. Yeah, that's it. That's the oh. one. The U-shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. I thought it'd be something funny. Not much to look at. Okay, here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. Well, hold on. We didn't even get to look at the rest of the place. Is there nothing else here? No, I guess not. We can't go down. We can't go to the right, so... Uh, let's try to go down. Nope. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, fine. <laughs> like, like, uh, sit. Hey, with that gorgeous thing, we should be able to still open the vault. So this is where it all happened. 
If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. <laughs> Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It feels like I'm sitting in the chair of a supervillain. But you could succeed where I failed. Use our power to make things right, Reese. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? Hmm. Oh, she's still holding that thing? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! Oh no. What are you doing? Gordis, come back over here. Oh no. We could wield Hyperion's might together. How would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there. They deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? Yeah, I'm definitely... This is the only room with the override port, so... If you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. I'm definitely missing some information from Seems the other games. No rush, but, uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You! Are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in, you get it? Jack. Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a long time. That's it. <laughs> Here it comes. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the two of us running high period. And she doesn't even know I exist. That's... Oh god, it's, it's priceless. So, is that it? Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh man, it feels good to get out of there. Did we just upload him to Hyperion? We made it. So, what happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honors. 
Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a clapping. Because I want to give a very special Hyperion welcome to the chiefiest of executives. Totally president material. All the way from janitorial. This can't be happening. Reese! Wait, so this is actually mine. This this is mine to control. Take it in, Reese. Hyperion, Pandora, help us. Oh, they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome goddamn Jack. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't even realize that was a thing that could happen. <laughs> oh, we did it. Episode 4. Oh, 12.6 Honored Scooter. Uh, 38%. Let the tour group get vaporized. You and 71% shot an innocent diamond pony. I didn't know it was a real diamond pony. <laughs> that could bleed 60% claim to search your database 64 knocked Yvette out 47 chose to rule Hyperion so I'm in the minority of people who chose to rule Hyperion even though it's pretty close 50-50 Jack's glory is expanding filling the arteries of Helios how can you change a handsome immortal machine See more. It was just full of jam. Yeah, that's right. It's strawberry jam. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what the crap was that? That was weird. All right. So I think what I'm going to do... Whoa. We got a... Episode 5. So this should be the end of the game. And it took us an hour and 52 minutes to do that first one. So, I think I'm I think what I'm going to do is end the stream and start another one so that I can upload this to YouTube as not a 4 hour long video. Um and I'm going to use the bathroom real quick and stuff like that and then I'll come back and restart the stream and we'll do this one. Sound like a plan? Cool. See you in a couple few minutes.